Hi everybody, I'm back with a requested embellishment tutorial. These are on the three spooky sweet paperclip embellishments that I made for my Pinterest inspired collaboration. I do it with my friend Misha. It's Crap Some Things One. So we're going to get started. I have all the supplies out and the first one we're going to start making is the Spooky Sweets um, banner one. I used a white paper clip and all my paper clips are the two inch um, long paper clips for this. I have a green banner piece, well a green piece of cardstock that measures about one and a half and five eighths wide and you're just going to cut yourself a little banner on the edge and then your orange piece measures one and seven eighths high by one inch wide and I'm going to cut a little banner piece for this one and then the black piece of cardstock measures two and a quarter inches high by one and a quarter inch wide cut out another banner okay and then before you glue them together you want to make sure they're going to fit on your paper clip so usually I aim this orange point to this center of the black piece of cardstock and then I do that again with this green banner point to the orange cardstock and then I'm going to just slide it on here to make sure I left myself enough room and I did and if you like the way that looks you can go ahead and just pull it down and here goes that glue bottle again <laughs> sorry about this there we go pull it down and glue it on and then I'm going to just pull this orange one down a little be careful you don't bend your cardstock okay and then I'll go ahead and add a little glue to the bottoms okay now all we're really going to do is go down about a quarter of an inch with the paper clip. So when I add it to my paper clip, the part that opens, I leave at the top. I'm going to slide it in. And if you look at the back here, it's about a quarter of an inch. All I'm going to do is fold it over. When you want to take your time folding it too and make sure that you get it nice and straight so that it's not crooked when you have it when you're looking at it from the front and then I took my bone folder and I kind of press that down so you can see I almost made a little crease right against the paper clip pull it back up I add some hot glue to the paper clip and the edge of that paper. And just glue it down. I'm going to use my bone folder again. Okay. Turn it around and I am using those Dollar Tree stickers again but for this boo one I didn't have a little uh, ghost in a cauldron so I ended up picking one from this Dollar Tree set I got last year maybe okay so that's what I'm using for the stickers and I did find another eyeball one and then I cut one of these 
glitter spider web um, cutouts I purchased at Tuesday mornings and I cut it in half and I'm going to glue the sticker right onto the spider web. And for this one, oh, I just cut these little tips off here that were sticking out. Um, before I glue anything, I like to just lay, lay it out on my cardstock to see how everything's going to fit in. So I already made my little bow out of orange and white gingham. I'm going to set that up here kind of sideways towards the edge of the embellishment and then on top of that I'm going to add the sentiment spooky sweets oh and by the way if you want to know um, where I got my sentiment stamps the spooky sweet sentiment came from the Halloween jar filled um, stamp set from paper tray ink and then my little trick-or-treat one and oh I think the boo to you came from this as well let me see yeah boo to you came from this set and then my little trick-or-treat one came from the tiny treats Halloween stamp set from paper tray ink as well and I love this because it has all the little um, ghostly images and tiny little sentiments that you can use for embellishments Okay, so I'm just going to set this out and take a look at it and see if I like where I'm placing it. And I did um, back up my spooky sweet sentiment with this green cardstock. And then oops, I put some foam tape on the back. So I kind of like that. I'm going to take this back off. And I'm just going to add hot glue directly to the sticker and the spider web and glue that on kind of move my paper clip out of the way okay put my bow back here in the corner Don't worry guys, not all of my embellishments are going to be Halloween themed. <laughs> I just did this one as a request. Okay. And then I'm going to peel off that foam tape. You know me, I love my hot glue. Turn this around and just add it right there and then I went ahead with some Studio G um, it's kind of like a cool Halloween lime green color and I went and made three glue dots on the edge of the black banner and I had too much squirt out there so let me clean that up nice if you have fingernails you can kind of pick off the stuff you didn't want on there okay so that's the spooky sweet one put that back okay let me wipe that off and the next one we're going to make is the scallop circle trick-or-treat paper clip so I have a two inch paper clip again and my scallop circle sizes are for the black scallop circle is approximately one and five eight inches around and got my white J 
jelly roll pen for that. And then the orange scallop circle measures one and a half inches round. And I'm gonna get my part of my arm here, my black pen out for that. Okay, so basically we're gonna be doing the same kind of fold over the paper clip. I'm gonna add my orange scallop to the black one. And take my paper clip with the open end up top, place it in here. And when you go to fold, you want to make sure you're around like um, the uh, the edges here, not that you're folding it over one of the actual loops. It just finishes off a little bit nicer. So let me look and make sure that's going to be enough to wrap around. Like I said, I went about... Maybe I went a little bit more with this one, not quite. Let me pull it down one more. Yeah, that looks good. You want to have enough to wrap around your scallop. So that it doesn't pop back open. Okay, so if you want to know how much is actually hanging off of the paper clip in the front, is about an inch and one eighth. So you can go up an inch and one eighth, you can make a little mark if you need to, and then fold the rest over. I mean, you can just eyeball it like I did. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue to the paper clip and then the edges of the scallops here. And press down. I'm gonna go in with my bone folder again. Crease that in, make sure it got nice and secure. this hot glue because I do not like smudgy glue sticking out. There we go. Turn it around and on the orange scallops I used my black pen and just made little dots and then with the black one I used my white jelly roll pen and did the same thing. I just think it kind of brings these scallop edges to life a little bit more. Makes them more noticeable. Okay, so it looks like that. And then for this one, I used that cute little cupcake sticker with the skull and bones but before I put that on I'm going to want to place this oop, my ribbon behind it and I just use some sheer lime green ribbon and notice I didn't glue anything yet I'm just placing it on seeing where I might want it Okay, I like that. That looks really cute. So I'm going to turn around, pull this back off, add a little hot glue, and glue the ribbon on. I'm going to pull back my paper clip because I don't want to get any glue on that. 
and then I'm going to add hot glue to the sticker and the ribbon. Glue string on there. Okay. And place that back on. And press down. pull my paper clip back up and then uh, for the trick-or-treat sentiment I have a little piece of foam tape to add dimension oh, I need another glue stick there we go and place that right in here And then I have a little tiny star from the sticker pack. I'm going to add a dab of hot glue on there and place that right underneath the sentiment like that. So that's the trick or treat one. I'm push these up here. And our last one is the Boo to You. I used a silver paper clip, two inch paper clip for this. And then the die set that I used was this set here from Hobby Lobby. I used the tiniest one in the set. That one measures, let me get my paper. This one measures approximately one and three quarter inches high by one and a quarter inches wide. And then for the black one, I used the next size up. And this one measures approximately two and one eighth of an inch by one and five eighths. I'm just giving you guys the measurements because on the Cricut and Silhouette, sometimes they have these um, cuts if you don't have the die set and then you have the measurements you need. But like I said, it's the smallest and then the next size up. And I have those right here. And for this one, I didn't glue the orange piece on first because as you can see in the back, I had cut that top piece off. So I'm just going to take my paper clip with the open side on the top. I'm going to slide this in. And right where these two points are on the edges here, I think I'm going to use that as my folding a little bit underneath those edges right here and fold it over. Turn it back around, put a little bit of hot glue on the paper clip and on the edge of your paper. my bone folder and press it down and then for this one what I did was fold this paper clip back a little bit just gonna size it on the bottom here and then whatever I had on the top left over I just folded this back and trimmed it off okay so let's add some glue add enough hot glue here I guess okay, 
me fold that back and trim that right off the top. Okay. Now I have this one fairly easy here. So I have part of the ghost is going to stick the little witch's hat's going to stick up. That's actually where I'm going to place my ribbon. Turn it back around. Some hot glue. That looks cute. And then I'll just add hot glue to the bottom of the ghost here. He's so cute. And then I cut out the Boo to You sentiment, backed it up with some foam tape. I'm just going to peel the backs off. A little bit of hot glue. And I'm going to glue that right onto my ghost body. And that's it, guys. Those are our paper clip embellishments. If you have any questions, let me know. I hope you have fun making yours. Take care and happy crafting.